was that? Huh? No, man, like, hey, man, wow, I was watching this object, man, like, like the satellite that we saw the other night, right? And, like, it was just going right across the sky, man, and then, I mean, it just suddenly, yeah, <laughs> it just changed direction and went, uh, whizzing right off, man. <laughs> and flash, you stoned out of your mind, man. Oh, yeah, man, hey, like, I'm stoned, you know, man? But, like, you know, I saw a satellite, and it was going across the sky, and it flashed three times at me and zigzagged and whizzed off. And I saw it, 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 and I saw it. That was a UFO leaping back at you. We seen 40 of them flying in formation. They, 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 they've got bases all over the world now, you know. They've been coming here ever since 1946, when the scientists first started bouncing radar beams.
then there is a kind of tea ceremony still served by Zen monks and literary men who are just entertaining their friends, artists and so on, which is very informal indeed. some tea.
actually get out of the box. We have consciousness. We can get into that larger system, and that's the only way to know anything about that system, is to get into it. You have to get out of this reality box and get into a larger reality with your awareness in order to know anything about it. And because it's all your consciousness, and it's individual, and it's subjective, you have to do it. side is 